All right, guys, so today I wanted to do a really fun top five that one of my Patreons came up with, and it's basically great games or good games or games that I liked enough that I would play again, but they were too long. And what that means is that I don't know if it was just too many hours for the type of gameplay that they offered or it was just too long to get to the main plot or it was just too long. You know, sometimes you play a game and you're like, I really liked it, but something was off and it was too damn long. So each game has its own pacing. If you're an action game, if you're an RPG, if you're a sports game or even a shooter, you need to balance your gameplay, your story, the unlockables, and the structure that makes the game feel well paced. Now these games I'm about to talk about, I all ended up really enjoying or at least liking. And whether I thought they were solid or amazing, I still had an issue. And that one issue is they were too damn long. So I'm going to start off my list with Dragon Age Inquisition. Now, a lot of people just dislike this game, period. I did not. I personally enjoyed for what it was. I had issues with it, and I didn't feel like it pushed the envelope for the genre or enhanced it in the ways that I feel Dragon Age 1 did for the genre, but I still had fun with it. However, the main story drags. Just when you get to some good stuff, it sets you back with doing some lame quests. On top of that, sometimes you can't advance the main story without doing fetch-like quests. It's not that the game axes you to grind to get stronger, it axes you to grind to get to the next story piece not a great idea okay number four is persona 5 and probably one of my favorite rpg games of all time and probably one of my favorite franchises of all time but persona 5 did overstay its welcome for me as i neared the 80 hour mark in this game i started to wonder how much longer can this go on i began to lose some interest in going through the palaces and basically i still had another 20 to 30 hours left to go at this point when i did get to the finish line i felt kind of deflated i still had interest in the main story but the pacing cut it up way too much for me i mean it's still a 9 out of 10 but if it was 20 or 30 hours shorter i think i'd be more inclined to replay it and play that royal edition that everybody is raving about all right number three is assassin's creed odyssey now you could honestly probably interchange this with valhalla as well but the big difference is valhalla felt overly long and the pacing was ruined by it but for the most part you could probably just blow through the main story structures even though that takes like 60 plus hours um now with odyssey you have to to grind and do side quests to tackle the main story. This is both annoying and just a bad feature that made me want to quit on multiple occasions. So for me, while both were way too long and I enjoyed both, this one beats Valhalla in that, that you have to do side quests or kind of grind these side quests to tackle the main story. All right, number two is Middle Earth Shadow of War, and sometimes more isn't better. I love the first Middle Earth game, and the second one promised bigger and more exciting battles. Now, we do get a lot of big battles, and they look great, and it's the same fun combat from the first game, yet it's triple, if not more, the length. Not to mention, if you want to get the very true ending, you have to grind through a lot of a lot and when i say a whole lot of battles i mean it and when i say that i also have to say that just the main story just takes forever to get through and you do do a lot of grinding because you tackle like smaller places to take them over and it just feels overly long and once you hit the 40 hour mark in this game i'm not gonna lie it does get pretty boring i was getting bored with it anyway and that's just too long for a main story to really wrap up in a gameplay that's mostly action 25 hours 30 hours tops for something like this and my number one is metal gear solid 5 another game that i thought was solid but ruined by being way too big basically to beat just the main story you're looking at like 40 to 45 hours the gameplay in metal gear solid isn't good enough to make this experience last that long by the 20 to 25 hour mark you're pretty much done with wanting to continue this game it hurts that all the other games in the series range from like 12 hours to maybe 25 hours and did a great job of making you want to go replay it multiple times i couldn't even bother to look at metal gear solid 5 after i was done the first time in this game a perfect example of overstaying its welcome way too much but yeah, this is my list of top five games that I think overstayed its welcome. There are other games that I believe are similar to this, but not to this extent. Games that I really, really enjoyed, like God of War 2018, or even Last of Us 2, where I really enjoyed them, but I also felt that they were a little bit too long for their own good, and they started to 
mess up the pacing. But those games I still enjoyed enough that it kind of overshadowed that. But these games, these were definitely, in my opinion, good or great games that I felt just went on way too long, unfortunately. But I would love to hear your opinion. There's a lot of games out there. Some games are too long. Some games are too short for people. But I would love to hear games that you played, that you enjoyed, that you felt were too long. Try not to pick games that you hated that were too long because, honestly, if you hated a game, then probably it had other multiple problems that made it feel too long. So pick games that you at least enjoyed or loved that you felt also were a little bit too long. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you know, do all the great stuff. Subscribe, like, and comment below and let me know. Everybody else, have a good day.